Well, we tend to really lionize experts and put them up on pedestals, whether it's the men, and it is typically men, in white coats, um, the doctors, the specialists, the surgeons, or whether it's the economists, I mean professors, people like me, um, people really hold up experts and trust what they're saying um, to quite an incredible degree. There was a study done in which people's brains were scanned as they heard an expert speak. And it was really astonishing. As they heard an expert speak, it was as if the independent decision-making part of their brains switched off and they just believed what the expert said, um, whatever it was. So we need to really keep our brains switched on, especially because experts do get so much wrong. I mean, in the world of medicine, we now know that doctors misdiagnose as much as one time in six. The financial crisis, the oil crisis of 73, the fall of the Berlin Wall, the Syrian uprising were all missed by intelligence experts. And a study of 16,000 experts um, predictions done over a 16-year period. Experts got no more right than a monkey randomly throwing darts at a pinboard. So, um, so we really need to take experts off the pedestal um, and be prepared to challenge them um, and, and really and, and gather information ourselves, um, get smart ourselves. I think we really need to be prepared to challenge others. Um, so challenge the expert, be the difficult patient, be the person asking questions um, at work. Um, ask questions of the per person making a presentation with the PowerPoint slide. If you don't understand it, that's fine. Or if you think maybe the assumptions aren't right, you know, they probably aren't right. So you know, do ask those tough questions and be the challenging one. But also challenge yourself because we are prone to a whole host of thinking errors ourselves that we need to get smarter at recognizing and then preempting.